Hello comic book movie fans, my name is Dan, and here today I'm going to talk about why I think Batman v Superman is going to rock. Number 1. The potential to fix Superman, from a very conflicted and unsure of himself hero to a truly heroic hero. Now, for the most part, in my mind, when I think of Superman, I think of someone bright, someone colorful, someone heroic, and someone who inspires hope in others. Someone who knows what is right and what is wrong, someone who's going to fight for the little guy, someone who embodies that idea of truth and justice. And the reason why I think this movie can be great is because it'll be some time removed from the events of Man of Steel. It'll show that this Superman witnessed the events, you know, witnessed the destruction, witnessed all the casualties, and he understands that his fights, no matter how small or how big they may end up being, they're going to affect the people around him, and that he should strive to, you know, do things better, to not create so much destruction, not create so much havoc, not let things get out of hand, and try even harder to save people, to try to, you know, pull people out of the burning building, to, you know, stop a car from crashing, you know. The more we see that, the more we can identify with him because he's, that's, those are heroic events, those are heroic acts. And because we're going to see him paired off against Batman in this movie, we can show that there is a difference. They can show that there is a difference between the way Batman does things and the way Superman should be doing things. Like, because this is an older Batman based off The Dark Knight Returns, it'll probably be a Batman who's a little bit more harder-edged to seeing some stuff and... He's more willing to punch someone really hard. He's more willing to break bones. That he is more willing to be the anti-hero and not really be a hero. And Superman should be embracing the idea of being the hero. Someone who inspires hope in others as opposed to Batman who inspires fear. And that'll be a good uh, dichotomy to play on. Number two. Expand the DC Cinematic Universe to include characters like Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Lex Luthor. And not have them just for the sake of inclusion. Regardless of all the other films that they've created, DC has one advantage over Marvel that is undeniable. They own all their characters. They don't have to, you know, deal with copyright issues or, you know, who owns who or who owns what where. DC owns all their characters. And to me, with the start of this DC Cinematic Universe, they should take full advantage of that. But not in such a way that it's distracting. And what do I mean distracting? I mean Iron Man 2. And whether or not you saw Iron Man 2 or you haven't is irrelevant. But what happened in Iron Man 2 was they included so many Easter eggs just for the sake of including Easter eggs. They forgot one very important thing. And that was to tell a good story. That story got bogged down in references. Uh, studio interference, so what have you. And this is an opportunity for DC to have a one-up on Marvel, to include Aquaman, but not just have him there to fight Superman for a few mo moments and then leave, to include Wonder Woman and not just have her there just because just to show Wonder Woman exists, to have Lex Luthor there as a villain and not necessarily just like a punchline in some of the other ones, especially the older ones. Essentially, what it comes down to is tell us a good story but don't tell us a good story just to build a world. Tell us a good story and build a world around that. Like, this story should be a story where we want to go live in that universe. You want to live in the world that Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman, that they all live in this universe, and we want to go visit that place every single time. Number three, scale back to destruction and focus more on a personal ideological conflict between Batman and Superman. One of my big personal problems with The Man of Steel was that there was a lot of destruction in that movie. And while destruction and all that fighting was great, it didn't really help tell the story. What it helped showed you was that if Superman had these big epic fights that we know he's been a part of in the comic books, that the world is essentially ill-equipped to handle it and a lot of buildings would be destroyed. And really, that's not really what the movie should be focused on. The focus of the movie should be between Batman and Superman. Now, we all know because this is Batman v Superman, at some point, Batman and Superman are going to have to fight. But the focus of this movie should be the difference between Batman and Superman and their effects on the world. And what I mean by that is that after the events of Man of Steel, the Amazons sent Wonder Woman to the world of men. 
in response to all the destruction caused by Zod. That Batman came out of the shadows instead of being the myth, he became an actual person that villains feared. They all knew he existed, but because he was very rarely photographed or even shown at all, people didn't believe he existed. And all of a sudden, here's Batman. And maybe due to Zod's use of the world engine on planet Earth, maybe it destroyed part of Atlantis. And there's your reason why Aquaman is in the movie. And because Batman, being Batman, he confronts Clark on this. That he demands to know why he let all this get out of hand. Why he let all this destruction happen. Why he let all those people die. Because regardless of what you think of all the destruction and all that other stuff, it was in direct response to Clark being on Earth. And maybe that's where your conflict comes from. Now, I don't claim to know what the movie's about 100%. I have a general idea who's going to be in the movie and hopefully who's going to be cameoed in it. I believe I also know who's going to be the main villain, which will probably be Lex Luthor in combination with Doomsday through Zod's body somehow. But regardless of all that and, you know, what I think might happen, you know, what I want the movie to go, the way I want them to introduce characters, etc., etc., regardless of all of that, I just want a good Batman v Superman movie because those characters deserve that kind of love and attention and devotion and so does wonder woman and so does aquaman and so does green lantern and so does every other dc character because they have a great universe they have great stories to tell and i just hope that they're willing to embrace those stories that they're willing to take chances with characters that may not be mainstream like look at guardians Guardians wasn't that well known. Marvel took a chance on them and they made a great movie out of it because they told a great story. And I hope that Batman v Superman does that. It tells a great story and opens up the world that we all love and appreciate. <laughs> and as much as it sounded like I was ragging on Batman v Superman, why I thought it might suck, because I'm looking at that video now and it's like 18 minutes long. That's not the point. Like, I have a lot of trepidations about this movie, but I really don't want it to fail. I want it to succeed. I want it to be great because I grew up with, you know, Batman, the animated series, Superman, the animated series. And those are my ideas of Batman and Superman. And I think those are very valid, you know, versions of Batman and Superman because they embodied the ideas of their character. That those cartoons successfully captured the idea of Batman and Superman. Now essentially what it comes down to and I'm just going to end this video like right now after this is that I just want this to be good you know I may have ragged on it for a long long time but I just want this movie to be good and I hope it is I really do because if not you know I'm just going to keep watching Marvel movies keep watching other movies and whatever else I'm going to keep doing I just really want these movies to be good because these characters deserve good and great movies all right i'm done if you made it all the way to the end thank you i appreciate it peace